Hey friends, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Tirso. I want to lean more into print design on the channel and in order to design for print, you have to know Adobe InDesign. I did a video a while back on getting started. I still stand by that tutorial, so if you missed it or are completely new to InDesign, there is a link in the corner. Some of you might be intimidated by InDesign because it offers so many features and there's a lot to learn. Fear not, I have worked in magazine publishing for over 15 years and I don't use all the features, so I don't think it's necessary for you to learn all those features. There are, however, some features that people aren't aware of, which is the purpose of this series. In this video, I'm covering how to set up your file for individual pages, spreads, a trifold brochure, and a document with multiple page sizes. Let's do it. This is a start to my complete guide for Adobe InDesign. This is the opening modal window for setting up your file. More often than not, you're just going to choose one of the default sizes, which you can find in the print tab. I'm going to use a custom page size, 8.25 by 10.875 inches, which is a common page size for magazines, at least the magazines that I've worked at. For a single page project, or even a PDF with a bunch of individual pages, you wanna make sure facing pages is off. You can choose how many pages you need here. I don't typically use this because I always end up needing more pages anyway. So click create and here's your document. If you need more pages, you can click the plus sign here and you can just keep on going. I'll drop some content here so we have some context. If you wanna duplicate pages, you can drag the thumbnail to the plus sign. You can also duplicate multiple pages by holding the shift and choosing the pages in the order. Or if you wanna duplicate pages that aren't sequential, click one page and then hold command and click the other pages. You can see that the pages went to the end of the document. Depending on your document size, this can be really annoying to always scroll down. There's an option to right click the thumbnail and choose duplicate spread, which will create a copy immediately after instead. You can also do this for multiple pages. So this is a setup for an individual page document. You can change the page size of your document after you've created it by pressing Command Option P, which will bring up the document setup modal again. You change it here and it will affect all of the pages. Note that your content will not adjust automatically, so just be aware of that. We're back to our document setup. Since we want spreads, this time facing pages should be toggled on. Your document will always have a right-hand page to start, which will be your cover. When you add pages after that, the spreads will follow after. Now, the default is to have the cover page on the right side, which makes sense. If you try to delete it, it just shifts everything forward. Also, if you move individual pages around, everything locks with the spreads and things reorder. I like to have full flexibility when I work and move pages where I need. If you go to the Pages panel, Go to the drop down and uncheck allow document pages to shuffle. I actually don't know which controls which, so I also uncheck allow document spreads to shuffle. What this allows you to do is separate your pages. That cover page in the beginning, you can now delete it and your document will start with the spread instead. You can also separate spreads by dragging the thumbs away from each other. So now you have a left and right hand page separately. Let me zoom out so you can see the change. First, thank you Denim for asking about this, which inspired the entire video series. There are two ways you can create a trifold brochure. The first option is to use a single sheet. This time I'll choose a three, and we want the horizontal orientation here. Facing pages should be off. Go to layout, create guides. We need three columns and the gutter should be zero. Next, we need to adjust the margins. Go to Layout, Margins and Columns. Make sure Preview is checked out on the right here. We want three columns, and then we adjust the gutter so that the columns center to the guide that we just created. The measurement should be double your margin, so in this case, six picas. Since this is a trifold, there will be a front and back. We can just duplicate this. When designing, make sure you know which page is which. One of your pages will be on the inside, for the other, the cover flap will be on the right, and the inside flap on the left, and then the back cover of the brochure in the middle. 
I'm sharing this because it's a way to do it. Again, I like flexibility, so here is my preferred method. Create a new document. This time, I want one third of the width of a full sheet. For A3, it will be 14 centimeters. Facing pages should always be checked because we'll combine it after. We have to uncheck the allow documents and spreads to shuffle again. I'll add two pages and then we can simply move the cover over to attach it. We don't have to create any guides for this. The benefit here is that you can create margins and columns for each page individually. I'll just select all the pages and duplicate for the back side. One more thing about being able to separate pages from the spreads, I always work on multiple options. For this, maybe you want to explore multiple cover options. Instead of having multiple spreads, you now only have to duplicate the cover. It may be easier to design independently from the other pages so you don't get distracted and then just replace when you decided which one. You choose how you would like to work, but those are two ways you can set this up. There is a world where you may want multiple page sizes in the same document. Here I have a magazine cover. Let's say I need to make this a blow up for an event, which will be roughly three feet by four feet. I'll duplicate the original cover. To change the size of an individual page, you can use a shortcut Shift P and then change the page size in the top left over here. I'm in inches, so the dimensions are 36 inches by 48 inches. This made the page larger, but equally on all sides. I want to call out that there's this icon in the corner where you can decide where to anchor the extension or trim. Let's undo real quick. If I choose the top left point and then change the page size, it will anchor the original page to the point that I chose. And that's it for setup. In the next video, I'll cover working with the character and paragraph panels.